Hello everyone, welcome back to the video series on uh, UFT. In this video, we will look at checkpoints. Well, what are checkpoints? Uh, a checkpoint is nothing but a verification to compare the current value to something expected. That's it. You're just comparing what you see currently to something that you expect and you're verifying it. So when you when you say verification so it could be a text verification it could be an image verification it could be some tables verification it could be uh, data database verification it could be an xml file verification it could be a standard file content verification so it could you could have different kinds of uh, checkpoints so i uh, let me go ahead and start with a sample application and show you how this can be done so i have uft on the left hand side and i have opened object repository so that you can actually see uh, what it does with object repository as we start recording and adding checkpoints to our uh, uh, test <coughs> sorry to a test here so i have sample application i'm going to start recording and uh, you know i will record the activity and i load the checkpoints so record here I'm going to do a tester mercury so I'm on this screen but let's say you know before I log in I want to add some checkpoint here so all I have to do is I mean by the way you can do the I mean you can add the checkpoints after you completely record or you can also add checkpoints as you record your activity so using your toolbar there is a little icon here called insert checkpoint or output value i'm going to click there and do standard checkpoint on this form so i got the dialog box click ok and the standard checkpoint does some standard checks you know depending on the object you know here this is a windows uh, form or if it is a web page it does things a little bit differently and we'll look at that as well so for now you know in this windows form by default it is checking the width text height and it is checking if it is enabled or not so those are the four things it's verifying with this standard checkpoint i'm going to click ok so the checkpoint gets inserted and you can see within the script it's check space checkpoint and login and this is what you have you see within the object repository so as you add a checkpoint it inserts a line in your script and it, it adds a checkpoint to your object repository so let me add one more checkpoint uh, let me add a bitmap checkpoint now let me do um, text checkpoint click that and I'm gonna I want to check the agent name text I'm gonna click there agent name and it's gonna take like a few seconds to display the prompt here the dialog box okay got it so it says has check that agent name is displayed so it's just a text checkpoint so it's going to check if that is displayed or not so tomorrow if the application got upgraded and if agent name is you know if they change that to agent login or user id then the test will fail you can do a few things here um, you can uh, give it uh, uh, you know you can check the case as well exact uh, case exact match few things you can do you can uh, you know there's a constant name you can give the you know uh, a proper name to this checkpoint if you really want to in, in real time you'll see th things more like you know checkpoint underscore this is a text checkpoint it could be that I mean, depending on the standard everyone does things differently and it'll say it's on the login uh, screen and then I'm looking at uh, the agent name so check uh, it's a checkpoint text login screen and that's the text um, click OK so it adds the checkpoint there and it got inserted here as well 
let me add another checkpoint <clears throat> this time I'll add a bitmap checkpoint now click on that image and dialog box static and that should display me the image okay now I have the image here and with this you you know you can do a few things uh, you can uh, you know accept the default it'll you know check the whole uh, image or if you want to uh, you know just verify a portion of the image you know you can actually you know uh, resize to which area you want to look at so there are a few things that you can you know play with it uh, I'll go ahead and accept that so I added uh, a you know a uh, checkpoint for image checkpoint the standard checkpoint and also verify the text checkpoint let me go ahead and add another standard checkpoint and I'll click on the button this time so it, it captured the button here and for that button it's verifying if it's enabled or not and there are you know a handful of properties and that's the only thing it's verifying we can you know uh, enable few you can say make sure that's you know it's check <coughs> I mean to say the button text is okay and you want to check the height and the width as well and we can say uh, checkpoint standard login screen button okay I mean the naming conventions is primarily uh, for uh, you know for us to easily recognize what exactly it is doing so here I mean it, it, it clearly tells me which screen it is and where it is checking and all that so that's the primary purpose and this the standards kind of help you so let me go ahead and click OK okay here on this screen I'm gonna do a few more things add uh, checkpoints again uh, checkpoint I'm gonna add the whole you know on the main screen itself I'll accept the defaults and I can you know change the name as I was doing before checkpoint underscore this is a standard it's a FR flight reservation screen and that's fine okay that's a sound checkpoint and then let's say I want to uh, verify uh, I'll add a bit per image on this screen on that image and accept the default this time I'll add accessibility checkpoint accessibility is you know when you hit the alt key you will see little underscores uh, you know uh, within the uh, text or the commands I mean probably the screen might not have it but uh, does not support this operation so that's fine we'll, we'll skip that I we can talk about that in a, in a different video with a different application um, <coughs> next let me add a, a file content checkpoint and here I'm going to just point you to some external file uh, and I'll select sample text one uh, so I'll symbol up with text one open it and this particular uh, file has two lines so I'm gonna make sure that the file has those two lines and that way you know when I run the test it checks those we can make the changes to the test case I mean to say you can edit this file and actually prove that it actually fails we can do all that so here it's a text checkpoint file content text point file content check Point. By the way, I'm not following any standards now. I'm just, you know, trying to show you the checkpoints. Now that verifies the file content there. I'll add an XML checkpoint. Select that and sample data I'll pick the first XML file click OK and the, the, here this is the content of the file click OK so as I'm adding the checkpoints it adds those checkpoints here and it saves the information so at run time when you run the script it checks it again as these values to make sure it's OK so that's taken care uh, and then 
because there's something called synchronization point this is more so applicable for web than windows it's also applicable for windows don't get me wrong because you know sometimes the windows screens have to sync up as well uh, but it's primarily to sync when we look at web we can uh, i'll use the synchronization point you'll see exactly what it means because on the web it takes few seconds to load the page because the web page that you're working with is continuously loading until it's done so sometimes it may take three seconds or sometimes it may take 30 seconds it all depends so okay we added those checkpoints let uh, let's go ahead and uh, save uh, i mean stop this and see how this runs okay let me go ahead and close object repository and uh, application let me run it Oh, unfortunately, I don't have a run statement, so it's not going to run because, you know, I don't have a line there to start the application. So let me insert the real quick system. Util.run. And I'll just get the path to the sample application. It's right there. Save the script. Let me go ahead and run it now because now it should start the application and verify things. Okay, there is a syntax error. Let's go ahead and fix it. Okay, you need to put that in double quotes. That's the issue. So it finished logging and it's going through all the checkpoints. So if you look at the results now, that started the application on the login screen. Let me. Okay. So on the login screen, there's a login screen checkpoint. It, these were the. This is the standard checkpoint on the login screen, and it verified all these and there's a checkpoint for you know to verify the text on the screen which was uh, agent name there's a checkpoint for the image this passed and there's a checkpoint for the button for the standard properties here you go and there's a checkpoint for the flight reservation screen it verified these properties and then here this is a checkpoint for the image that went through fine here's the checkpoint for the text verified based on our configuration and XML as well and um, you know we, we just recorded and saved so uh, the script and ran so obviously it will run fine let me go ahead and make some changes to the text file and see the kind of impact it has on the script okay let me I just made a quick change to the text file that we added for uh, file content check let me go ahead and run the script logged in okay okay it failed let's see where it failed it said it failed on the sample text.txt this is where it failed it pretty much says that you know the file contents are not same that's the reason why it failed so this is how you'll determine I mean this is with the file content but if you, you know, I can also introduce uh, a different kind of checkpoint failure let me make a quick change okay I made a okay I made a quick um, you know change within the object repository so that you know our application will actually I mean the script will actually fail a certain checkpoint let me go ahead and run it and see you know which checkpoint fails Anytime you see a script, you know, kind of uh, stuck at some line for more than a few seconds, most likely there is some issue there. 
so in addition to our um, you know the file content check that fail now I, as I told you I made a quick change on the uh, one of the you know objects and here it is you know the what I did was I went into the object repository and changed the screen name for flight reservation so it is looking for a for flight reservation 1.0 but you know what it found is flight reservation so all I did for that was I went into the object repository I went to the checkpoint uh, checkpoint here and then for the text I said you know look for you know I just all you have to do is check the appropriate property I mean select the appropriate property and you know make a change here I just added 1.0 okay. you could you know just remove that and add 3.0 you know just to kind of simulate the errors so that's about uh, you know the basic checkpoints we will look at uh, more about you know database checkpoints later in a different video but uh, you know this will get you started with the uh, checkpoints see you in the next video